Right, every now and again I like to show new tools that have just come onto the market and are readily available and today I've got some very small boring bars. I was really pleased when I actually found these boring bars because um, up until now I've either made my own or used these ones here which are tungsten steel. These new sets here that I've got are made of solid carbide. And I did have an ordinary insert as a boring bar which I've kept over the years. This is solid carbide and it has a hole through it. I say it's an insert because it goes into a holder and the coolant can go through the hole that goes right the way through to cool the um, tip. And I've used this on several occasions to machine very tiny work. It's only three millimeter boring bar. And then a while back I did a review on these ones here which are tungsten steel which you can get on Banggood. These are very good little boring bars and I've used these on occasions for very tiny components and they're still going fine. But like I say when I saw these sets here or these um, tools I was really pleased because it's very rare to actually find solid carbide um, boring bars like this online or anywhere really and drill pro make both of these sets or you buy them individually actually but there's one set which is just solid carbide and the other set here are the blue nano um, solid carbide and they range from two millimeter up to eight millimeter boring bars so you can buy them in a two three four five six and eight millimeter and i've got one of each of all of them to try out and i'm really looking forward to actually trying this really tiny two millimeter boring bar this will be the smallest boring bar that i've used to date i don't know whether they do anything smaller than that in a boring bar and when picking them up and having a look at them i can see that they've been perfectly ground and look excellent for small components and with my new um, Alaris type tool post which I have on the MyFord I make up um, an adapter here out of brass to actually hold small boring bars that go into one of the holders and you can do the same with any holder on a um, CNC or a lathe like this. So I will be making up a brass holder for each of these sizes and I'll show you how I'll do that later on. They're dead easy to make, it's just basically drilled through to the diameter of the shank and then a couple of 4BA screws to lock the boring bar in that um, collar or the adapter. I've made mine quite long so it goes well into the um, tool holder and it's a lovely rigid setup and I've been machining with these tungsten steel ones and it's absolutely excellent. So this is just a preliminary um, view of these boring bars just to show you that they're on the market and available. Um, it's worth actually getting one of each um, size if you do a lot of machining and later I'll show them in operation on both the Chinese mini lathe and the MyFord ML7. And just to show you this is the smallest one, the 2mm one. You can see how tiny that boring bar is but it's perfectly ground and an excellent tool. And in some future videos you'll see all these tools in use and I'll give them a good test but I believe that they're going to be absolutely perfect for all my requirements.